Once again, we're getting ready for some live music and with a very funny host, legendary comedian. This is Michael Callier. Thank you so much for joining us. I know a lot of people are excited to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me here. I'm so excited to do this. You know, this is my first major rap concert that I'm getting to host, so I am blown away. I'm also blown away we're doing the Veterans Memorial Auditorium because I am a veteran, and as I recently learned, so is your husband. Yes. Who is right now, this is last day, and he's about to retire after 20 big ones. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh you my know, gosh, you're so, so excited. Oh, thank excited. you so much, and thank you for your service as well. Oh, thank you. I, I mean, I love serving because I love my country. I absolutely love it. You know, so I would do that. I will always be here for this country. And now I'm from Africa, Watu Wazuri, but I'm also American, baby. And, you know, we're going to show off. This is going to be so good. You know, we got uh, Twister, who's one of my favorites. You know, in fact, I'm from Chicago, Southside Projects, Robert Taylor Home, 4352 yeah. South State, Part 909. So Twister, who's fast as lightning, and all these other great, the Yin Yang Twin, all these great rappers in one place, it's going to be epic. Yes, and this, what we're talking about is the First Day Out Music Fest. This is going to be, um, like you said, at the Vistar Veterans Memorial Arena on yes. July 10th. It's a Saturday, and you mentioned mm -hmm. some of those big names. Let me just mention a few more. Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, Slick Rick, Goody Mob. Yes. I mean, the list goes on and on, so you'll have to stay tuned for more of that. But first, I want to talk about you. What are you up to? Oh, well, you know, I do my own morning show. It's called the Michael Cowley Morning Show. It's on YouTube. You don't have to watch it in the morning. Anytime, day or night, you can go to the Michael Cowley Morning Show. But I'm a comedian, and people who don't know me, some people know that I'm from the Martin Show. I play Gina's boss, Mr. Whitaker. Some people <laughs> recognize me as Showboat from House Party 3. And some people have seen me on Def Jam, Comic View. I've been doing this comedy thing a little over 30 years, so I'm thinking about sticking with it. <laughs> and I am just excited about what I do. And my morning show is so important because I really think this whole COVID people get uh, this COVID thing got people stressed out. They yeah. get them nervous. It's got anxiety on them. And I want to create a place where people can come and laugh and pray every day. And remember, it's all good because it's all God. You know, I don't think that COVID is about ending the world. Or I think COVID is about us pivoting shifting mm -hmm. to do a different thing because I usually do comedy every weekend. I was booked every weekend for eight months. And then March 13th of last year, they mm -hmm. closed every comedy club on the same day. Mm -hmm. So I could have went home and cried like a little girl or I could have pivoted and found out what else could I do. And I learned that I can do this morning show, which is so awesome. I've already done 228 episodes, you know. Wow. So if you want to see it, just go to YouTube, put in the Michael Cowley Morning Show. Plus, people can follow me on my cash app. That's dollar sign <laughs> Michael Cowley's money. You hear me? Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. So yeah, why did you want to be a part? You said this is the first time you're hosting a rap concert. I mean, other than that, why did you want to be a part of this? Well, I mean, I want to be a part of it for the money. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. For the money. Uh, but, but it is an awful lot. No, no, I'm just joking about that. I'm joking about that. Uh, <laughs> well, I want to do it because I, I really do love all these artists. I've always followed their music. I love their music. You know, I'll be honest with you. Without black music, we'd be in a lot of trouble. You know, I remember a time when hip-hop, people would frown on the hip-hop. But now you can't listen to a commercial on TV. You can't hear a TV show, a movie, without hip-hop driving it. It is a passionate, powerful beat, and I want to be part of that. And to be in with all these giants, to be able to perform with all these masters, that puts me in a whole new space right now. It mm -hmm. connects me to a whole new group of people because everybody loves laughter. Laughter is healing. Yep. If you can laugh through a thing, you can get through a thing. But when you combine the forces of music with great laughter, Man, that is a recipe for joy and power that you just cannot deny. So I'm honored to be part of this, Aww. you know? Yeah, I got to shout out William Davis, who thought of me, you know, because no one's given me this opportunity before. And he said, I'm going with you, brother, and I want to work with you specifically. Because there's so many people. He could have got Cedric the Entertainer. He could get D.L. Hughley, but he chose me. So I'm very, very honored, and I'm not going to let y'all down. I'm going to come and kill it down there in Jacksonville. I'm going to kill it. I love that. I love your spirit, too. Uh, so I want to know, though, I mean, obviously, you're going to have a little bit of your own, too. You're going to have us laugh, and we're going to have music and laughter. Why do you think? Oh, uh, well, there we go. <laughs> this, chicken, this chicken don't have nothing to do with it. I'm sorry. 
Well, you know, my laughter is going to be so good because it's so human. You know, I yeah. tell my own story. You know what I'm saying? I came from the projects. I mean, we were so poor. I know how to make hot water cornbread from scratch. I mean, we were so poor. My parents couldn't afford to have kids. The lady next door had us. Also, I talk about my addiction. I'm an addict. So okay. I did crack. I did crack for 23 years. And as of March 1st, I have 10 years of pure sobriety. So I talk about that everywhere I go. I tell people on the street, they say, why are you telling me? I said, man, I'm telling everybody. And I stand as, as an example that no matter who you are, no matter how hard your situation could be, you can change it. I can change my life at any moment I choose, but what moment shall I choose? So here I am now sitting smack dab in the middle of my dream after all that disaster, cause God is always great. I used to say God is good, but now I say chicken is good and God is great. And I bring all that with me to the stage, you know? And so it's gonna be so much fun. Plus I'm gonna look that. good. I I'm gonna look that. good, let me tell you that too. And I'm so Wait. happy for you. I mean, 23 years, that's a long time. And I'm sure it was very hard to get past that. And hey, just so everyone at home knows, there is a way out. So that's amazing. Yeah. You know what? I, I really appreciate your time today. This is gonna be a big and fun event. I can just tell you are so much fun to talk with. Thank you. You are sweet as can be, and you're fine as a woman needs to be. You ain't got to go no further. You can okay. stop right there. <laughs> well, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to see this segment again or get more information, go to firstcoastliving.com.